The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the APM settings tool, covering how to identify the correct version to be used, how to obtain and its operation. Normally it's used when there is the need to create a new APM settings file, when a new load is being installed, or when there is a need to change some parameters in an existing APM file. The demonstration will be performed on an Embraer E2 system, but is very similar to E1 systems. In order to identify the correct version of the tool, it's necessary to access the Honeywell Aerospace portal. Then select Support and then Tech Pubs. Perform the login. And once you are on the Tech Pubs portion, do a search for Tools. On the list of the publications, identify the software tool platform. Uh, seal where uh, it's mentioned the airplane you are working in our case E2 select view publication on the seal identify the part number of the software to chipset applicable to the load installed in the airplane in our case load 7.0 copy the part number then still in the portal go to software and software and data and then software and database services Once you access, select Honeywell Forge Electronic Library and then perform a search by the part number of the tool chipset you copied. Once you identify the tool chipset, perform the download and then the installation on the laptop that is normally used to load software in the airplane. Prior to start the APN settings to demonstration, let's remember uh, some information about APMs. Only two platforms that are three files in each APM. They are the APM sysconfig file contained in the Ops software CD, the APM options file that shows uh, the optional selected active for that airplane, and the APM settings file that we are gonna uh, cover the creation in some minutes and it contains the information on aircraft serial number, ACAL address, registration number, transponder code and others. There are uh, four APM hardware located on each aircraft, uh, one on MAU-1, NIC-1 backshell, another on MAU-3 NIC-6 back shell and uh, on the MRC cabinets not on the back shell but on the cabinets on E1 platforms we have some differences on APM's file location uh, file contents and location uh, 
there are a fourth file uh, on the APMs that is the APM rigging that contains the rig information for the flight control surfaces and uh, the other difference also marked in red is the location of uh, the APM on MAU3 it's located on NIC5 back shell while on E2 is on NIC6 back shell in addition let's talk uh, also about some APM settings generation tips. Uh, use the correct version of the settings tool as shown on the Honeywell Software Tools uh, service information or higher. Always use the settings.dev file contained in the op software CD. Always use capital letters. When there is a drop down on the right side of the tool uh, to select the type of units, uh, if X, octal, decimal, do not change it. Let the default as showing the tool, normally is X and do not convert weights shown in the Embraer publication. Use it then as is. Let's start the APM tool. Going to start Honeywell APM settings 3.0 in our case and start the tool. Once you start the tool, as mentioned on the tip, check the version of the tool, 3.0 in our case. Then find the settings.dev file. We shall always use the one contained in the OPS software. select the settings.dev file and then click open we are gonna cover the three options show on the screen the load from definition file the get APM list and the load from a binary file we are going to start with the first one that is load from definition file. This alternative shall be used when you are going to create an APM settings file from the scratch. Start the tool and then you are going to populate all fields, do all selections, remembering the tips provided you will type the information on each field or select in the drop down menus keeping in X as mentioned on the tips don't change that portion and then do all the selections to create the file you shall uh, use as reference for creation the file the Embraer, the applicable Embraer information bulletin that will contain all the parameters for you to fill in the tool. Another alternative to the Embraer information bulletin is the aircraft wiring diagram manual on chapter 314153 you will find the appropriate information for the airplane you are working once you view all the fields with the supplied information 
clicking create binary file and then select a folder where you are going to store the files that you are creating click open and then select a name of a file that you will use for a search when you are going to load in our case APM test 1 let's now do the second alternative get APM list this alternative shall be used when uh, you are gonna change few parameters on an existing APM you can grab the information from one of the APMs installed in the airplane once you click get APM list it will show uh, the each of the four APMs on the airplane you shall select one of them and then click load and the information was grabbed from the A APM on the airplane and you do the changes that you need to change select the few that you need to change do the selection of the new value for that parameter change all parameters that you need to change and like on the previous once all the changes are made all fields are already populated clicking create file and the same way select a folder to store the file and then select a name that you will use to search when you are going to load in our case APM test 2 the third option load from a binary file is when you have a file in the laptop that you know is the file installed in the airplane you can use this, you don't need to be connected to the airplane and then you are gonna grab the information from the file that you had previously created and then you will change the parameters and save on a new folder once you know where the file is located, you select the location on the laptop and then you open it will bring all the information from the files previously created then do the changes on the specific parameters that you need to change click and create the file select a place to store the file and provide the name that you are gonna search when you are going to perform the load on the airplane in our case now APM test 3 Once the file to be installed is created, 
start the CMC remote terminal, select data loader, select full load, go to your hard drive to the place where you save the, the file created. In our case, we created uh, three files, one on folder AA, the APM test one, another on folder BB, APM test two, and the third one on folder CC, APM test three. Then select the file and click Select File. The tool will start the configuration check. It will give an estimate for each of the APMs being loaded. And below will show a total time when the configuration check is finished. Select Start Load. The files are being transferred to the APM hardware. And the load is completed. After loading the files, it's a good practice to cycle power to the airplane and after a uh, power up, you can uh, verify that there is no APM fault or APM fail or APM miscompare message. And uh, the proper information that you inserted in the file you created will be displayed in MFD sysconfig pages.